All right, so today we are going to talk about the um, car stabilizer. Now, let me focus this. Okay, so for this car, I use this um, carbon fiber stabilizer here. That is angled. That is angled on, oops, on that direction. So, when it enters the corner, it's not going to hit this. It's actually going to hit the rollers to make it more faster and stabilize it more. Now, this one, you only use this for corners where there's a big chance of your car, you know, tipping over for a little bit. So what it does is it basically stops, if this is the wall, you know, it basically stops the car from flipping over because it blocks it like that. So that is the importance of the stabilizer. Just like this. Let me uh, focus it here. So right here, as soon as it enters the uh, corner, if the car, if the car desi decides to um, tip over like that, for example, it's actually going to block it. So just like that. Focus that again. Okay, so just like this, say if it's going to tip over, this stabilizer on the left side of the car will block it like that and brings the car back down to this direction. Same on the other side. That's the whole purpose of it. So, what is the difference between this? and this okay so with this one it is actually helpful too because it bounces off the car and brings the car back down like that so there's no problem about that but the only uh, problem that I, that I can see actually is the fact that there is a gap right there so depending on the angle of the jump of the car say for example if the car jumped and it's way up here you know this kind of stabilizer can still block it see that see with that angle it can still block it it can still block the wall like that now with this one when it goes up like that it won't be able to block it because it just goes through that's the problem that I can see with this kind of stabilizer. See that? And that's something that you don't want to happen, especially if you're racing um, competitively or you're just racing with your friends. So if you're going to ask me, I would go for this kind of stabilizer. Because for sure, it will bring back your car back to the track without any problem. And that is it. Thanks for watching.